Hey guys, welcome to the construction site on Thursday. Today we're finishing up the structure for the roof. The guys have put in all of the remaining. Alrighty, so the guys they finished putting in the jack rafters and the common rafters. The jack rafters are these uh, short ones near the end where the uh, angles meet. So these small ones on the ends, they are all in place. And uh, the common rafters, they were two missing, they were delivered today. So the guys painted them for magic, uh, protective agent and put them in place. So we got the main structure of the roof up in place and now they're cutting up spots for the purlins. So it's going to be like a little box around, you can see notches. So you can see these little notches, they continue onwards, it's going to be like a beam, it's called a purlin. And uh, it's going to support the rafters because there's no posts in the middle, like from the garage. So this roof is, uh, has a tendency to get, get pushed out. That's why the rafters are seated in this fashion onto this uh, beam so that they, when they push they get supported against this and then we have uh, 20 millimeter bolts that tie this into the concrete. So that should hold up pretty nice. The purlins are going to have a base. There's some bolts in the floor for those. And I've been on the icing duty just removing the snow and ice from uh, where the, the base will go so that the guys can set it up. So the guys, they've been uh, busy with putting in uh, some windows into the house. It's just uh, some wooden frames with some uh, plastic wrap. Uh, basically it's like painters, uh, very thick plastic. It should protect from rain falling inside and snow so the house has a chance to dry up We're leaving uh, quite big gaps around the windows so that there's a lot of ventilation through the house and it's not uh, sealed up tight and yeah the house is looking pretty great So these are our purlins, they're uh, 14 by 20, something like a 6 by 8, uh, full dimension almost. And uh, these are the uh, shorter side, so the guys they cut them at an angle so they meet up nicely with the hip rafters. <laughs> so this will go on top of the box I've been talking about and they will support the rafters in the middle. You can see inside the windows, they look great. The walls, some of them are up already, very cool. And now Shimon is uh, preparing to put up a wall between the kitchen and the dining room. But for that they need to put down some tar paper first to isolate it from the water that is underneath the concrete. And that needs to be uh, Heat melted one with the other, so there's continuity in the isolation layer underneath the wall. Super! <laughs> He's removing all the little bumps in the concrete so the tar paper lies on a small, small surface and doesn't get punctured. Uh, yeah, we're going to start laying bricks really soon.
Așa îți dau pula. Dau pula? Ce vă zic dacă să știi? Ia vin. Ai dobre dos. 250 de gheață. 25. Ha, vezi că l-o bagem de la dumneau? Ha. Că l-o șerem 250 de mai pou? Nu. Să n-arăjiro. Da. Da, dark now. The carpenter just left. Uh, they didn't uh, manage to finish the structure today because it got dark. But only two things remain. Uh, the underlayment and some posts. That that and they can start putting up boards on the roof. We're expecting really high winds tonight. 100 kilometers per hour. I got some warnings on my phone. So my wife called me. So, It's coming. It's good we didn't start putting up the boards today. 
otherwise we would have a big sale of the house which could be dangerous maybe but you can see the guys are inside they're uh, pulling up the dividing walls upstairs and uh, they just started but it's going okay and uh, yeah I hope you enjoyed this episode I hope I'll catch you next time bye